Hi, everybody, and welcome to my living room. I'm so happy to have the chance to speak with you today in these strange and, frankly, uh, disquieting times. Uh, I, I wish I could be with you in person, but this is the next best thing. And so I thought I'd just take a few minutes to share with you a couple of thoughts, uh, what's going through my mind right now, as well as uh, give you some idea of what you might expect from us in the future. Um, in the midst of all this, I've had the chance to speak with people involved in the world of orchestral music, uh, whether they are musicians or staff or audience members. And those conversations now, over the last month, number for me in the hundreds. That's to say that I've had uh, a great number of people that have talked to me about what they're feeling and what they're thinking. And in, in the midst of this, where we have so many more questions than answers, uh, there is one answer that I have been increasingly aware of, and I wanted to share that thought with you. I've always felt that the idea of making music together live is one of the most important gifts we have. And it's become very clear to me during the course of these conversations that what is a, a clear and undeniable thread is our craving for that live experience. I hear it from audience members, I hear it from musicians, I hear it from staff and board members. We all miss each other uh, incredibly much. And this, I think, gives me a sense of optimism that when, not if, we all get back together in the hall making music again, that will be with the knowledge that we have missed each other so much and that what we have together is an immensely powerful force. I can guarantee you from talking to my colleagues on stage that we will be music, making music for you with even more passion, abandon, and unanimity than we've ever made before. And I have a feeling that from the audience perspective, there will be even greater receptivity to those powerful sound waves emanating from the stage. Now, I don't know any more than you do at this stage when that moment will come, but I do know that it will come, and I do know that we will be ready for it. In the meantime, uh, I want to let you know that we at the Marin Symphony are planning a number of things to take advantage of this new digital platform that we are all experimenting with. Um, next season, we are uh, uh, planning on uh, our concerts to proceed as normal, starting in September with our first props concert with Stuart Chaffetz and starting with Masterworks One in October. Uh, there are so many things that I'm excited to share with you for next season, and you can find more details by going to the Marin Symphony's website, uh, as well as uh, uh, subscribing to this season. Its subscriptions are now open, and uh, if uh, you feel like it, uh, do please go ahead and, and subscribe to the various and exciting offerings that we have, including Beethoven's Violin Concerto with Vadim Glusman, Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto with Joyce Young, uh, Brahms Requiem with our chorus, Time for Three uh, in their very first appearance with the Marin Symphony. All of these are really great, uh, exciting things ahead of us. Uh, and you will have the chance over the next few weeks to uh, share some thoughts with some of these artists. Uh, our future broadcast will consist of a number of things that we're planning on, but they most certainly include talks uh, with our guest artists, with our musicians, with my fellow conductors of the Marin Symphony, Stuart Chaffetz and Kevin Fox, our course director, as well as members of the Marin Symphony, with whom I think you are about to get better acquainted. All of these things are very, very important uh, and exciting, and I look forward to sharing with you more details of those in due course. And in the meantime, I, I want to thank those of you that are part of our Marin Symphony family, whether you are subscribers or donors or both. Uh, we are so grateful for the amount of support that we have received in the past and are receiving at this time as well. 
we hope very much to be able to share our music with you at the earliest possible opportunity. Um, but stay tuned for more details on that front as the uh, days and weeks uh, evolve ahead of us. Uh, and in particular, I want to make sure that you take care of yourselves and each other and keep music part of your lives. Uh, it's never been a more powerful time for music to express uh, its unique capability. Uh, and I hope that you are finding comfort and solace in that world. Uh, I look forward to speaking with you again soon. In the meantime, take care and all best.